Hi, I'm Dave with Automation Devices and we're going to go through another tech tip today. What we want to do is try to cover something that's very simple and very basic, but it's always a great thing to check. And that's going to be the rubber feet. What we've decided here is that this particular bowl is not running very well. It's running extra slow, so even when I turn the knob up, you can see that these parts aren't moving very fast. So yeah, they're going pretty slow, so we have to suspect that something is wrong. So I'm going to shut it off. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the bowl off real quick. And we're going to inspect the rubber feet on the bottom. Because we may as well try to fix the easy things first. So we'll just tip it up on its side. And one of the easiest things that I can do right now is just very quickly feel each rubber feet. Does it feel nice and secure? And even though this one's attached, I can actually rotate it which tells me it's probably too loose. But we're going to check all three of them right now. Give it just an extra little twist to the point where I can't rotate that rubber feet, but I'm not compressing it too much. And then this is the one that was loose. And let's see if I can turn it. And no, I can't. So let's put the bowl back together again. Checking the rubber feet can be one of those really easy, really quick fixes that's going to help your feeder run better. Alright, and let's find out what we have here. So you can see we're getting some nice, really fast moving parts. We're going through here really well. So it looks like just having a loose foot may have slowed the performance down. So having a loose foot could really make this bowl run a lot slower than it should be. The other thing to look for when you're inspecting the feet is are there any cracks in it? Has the feet flattened out? Because at that point it's a good time to replace them. It's a relatively inexpensive way to get the performance back into your feeder.